Welcome to this daily office with the Iona community, which is taken from the Iona Abbey Worship Book. The service is taken from the form of morning prayer which we use on Iona, and so there are different prayers and psalms each day, and, over the course of each month, a cycle of prayers for the world, for different communities and for the concerns of the Iona community. The form of words on some of the slides has been changed to reflect a recent update. The service is interactive and you're invited to join in with the responses. You'll see all the words you need on the screen. The world belongs to God. The earth and all its people. How good it is, how wonderful. To live together in unity. Love and faith come together. Justice and peace join hands. If Christ's disciples keep silent, these stones would shout aloud. Open our lips, O God, and our mouths shall proclaim your praise. Ah. Uh. 
Move among us, God. Give us life. Let your people rejoice in you. Give us again the joy of your help. With, With your spirit of freedom, sustain us. God, make our hearts clean. Renew us in body, mind, and spirit. Let us pray. Trusting in God's forgiveness, let us in silence confess our failings and acknowledge our part in the pain of the world. Before God, with the people of God, I confess to turning away from God in the ways I wound my life, the lives of others and the life of the world. May God forgive you, Christ renew you, and the Spirit enable you to grow in love. Amen. Before God, with the people of God, we confess to turning away from God in the ways we wound our lives, the lives of others, and the life of the world. May God forgive you, Christ renew you, and the Spirit enable you to grow in love. Amen. So now, as Jesus taught us, we say, Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, and forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us in the time of trial, and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. With the whole church, we affirm that we are made in God's image, befriended by Christ, empowered by the Spirit. With people everywhere, we affirm God's goodness at the heart of humanity, planted more deeply than all that is wrong. With all creation, we celebrate the miracle and wonder of life, the unfolding purposes of God, forever at work in ourselves and the world. I shall praise your name to the heights, for you have lifted me up, away from the gloating of my enemies. I cried to you, God, and you healed me. You raised me from depths of despair. From death to life you delivered me. Sing a psalm to God, you faithful people. Give thanks to God's holy name. God's anger lasts for a moment. God's grace lasts for a lifetime. Tears may linger through the night, but joy comes in the morning. I felt secure to myself. I doubt I shall ever be shaken. Like a strong mountain, you protected me. But then you hid your face, and I was filled with dismay. I cried to you, my God. I pleaded with you for mercy. What can be gained by my death if I disappear into oblivion? Can dust of a heartfelt praise, or tell of your faithful love. Hear, O God, and take pity. Come and be my helper. You, you have, have turned, turned my mourning to dancing. You, you have clothed me with great joy. I will, I will sing to you without ceasing. My God, God I will praise you forever. Listen now in the reading of Scripture for the Word and Wisdom of God. The reading is taken from Luke's Gospel, chapter 1, beginning at verse 5. When Herod was king of Judea, there was a Jewish priest named Zechariah. 
he was a member of the priestly order of Abijah, and his wife Elizabeth was also from the priestly line of Aaron. Zechariah and Elizabeth were righteous in God's eyes, careful to obey all of the Lord's commandments and regulations. They had no children because Elizabeth was unable to conceive, and they were both very old. One day Zechariah was serving God in the temple, for his order was on duty that week. As was the custom of the priests, he was chosen by lot to enter the sanctuary of the Lord and burn incense. While the incense was being burned, a great crowd stood outside, praying. While Zechariah was in the sanctuary, and a, an angel of the Lord appeared to him, standing to the right of the incense altar. Zechariah was shaken and overwhelmed with fear when he saw him, but the angel said, Don't be afraid, Zechariah. God has heard your prayer. Your wife Elizabeth will give you a son, and you are to name him John. You will have joy and gladness, and many will rejoice at his birth, for he will be great in the eyes of the Lord. He must never touch wine or other alcoholic drinks. He will be filled with the Holy Spirit even before his birth, and he will turn many Israelites to the Lord their God. He, he will be a man with the spirit and power of Elijah. He will prepare the people for the coming of the Lord. He will turn the hearts of the fathers to their children, and he will cause those who are rebellious to accept the wisdom of the godly. Prayer from Noma Lady in Guguletu, South Africa. God is love to me and God is amazing, even though I am not strong physically in terms of my health. 
Even though things are difficult, I continue to go down on my knees and pray. And from time to time, I see God responding to my prayer. I don't know how I could praise God's name in the way it, that is befitting God's greatness. I do not have the instruments appropriate enough to make the music that would truly express how I feel about God. There are times when I have sleepless nights and watch TV till morning, but I always feel comfort when I go to, on my knees and pray. I am sometimes up at 3am trying to sleep on that side or the other. There are times when the pain is so heavy, my hand with cramps, my fingers twisting. Had I not been connected with God, I would be accusing people of causing this pain. But earlier in my life, I chose a close relationship with God, though I am poor. God is with me in the morning when I wake up. God is around during sleep and is with me as I try to walk around. I just cry knowing that God has heard my prayer. I live with great hope. Amen. On the 13th day of the month, we pray for the people of Iona and Mull, for the Ross of Mull and Iona Parish Churches, for Bishop's House, the House of Prayer, the Orthodox Hermitage of All Saints of Iona, and for the staff of Historic Environment Scotland. We pray for the countries of Antigua and Barbuda, Aruba, the Bahamas, Barbados, Bermuda, Bonaire, for the Cayman Islands, Cuba, Curaçao, Dominica, the Dominican Republic, Grenada, Guadalupe, Haiti, Jamaica, Martinique, Puerto Rico, St Kitts and Nevis, St Lucia, St Vincent and Grenadines, and for Trinidad and Tobago. We pray for members belonging to the family group of Edinburgh Central, for Arthur Chapman and Judy, Ziggy Martin, Angus Matheson and Fiona, for Neil Squires, Hamish Walker, Helen Was O'Donnell and Ros Was O'Donnell. And on this day of the month, we pray for associate members in Canada. Walk with them today, O oh God, and keep us on your way. O oh God, you gave to your servant Columba gifts of courage, faith and cheerfulness and sent out your servants from Iona to carry your gospel to every creature. Further in all things, the purpose of this community that hidden things may be revealed to us and new ways found to touch the hearts of all. May we preserve with each other sincere charity and peace. And if it be your holy will, grant that this place of your abiding continue still to be a sanctuary and a light. Amen.
in work, rest, and worship. God is with us. Gathered and scattered. God is with us. Now and always. God is with us.